Give me, give me what I want. Give me what I need. Give me, give me what I want. Want you all over me. Give me, give me what I want. Hey friends, my name is Marcello. Today I'm gonna to be giving you my impressions on the RNHP Precision Headphone Amplifier from Rupert Neve Designs that was sent over for me to review by Christopher. Thank you again, brother, for allowing me to check out your amp. No one has compensated me for this review and all thoughts and impressions are my own. For this review, I'll be listening to the RNHP paired with my own topping D90 digital analog converter, as well as AB listening to the RNHP versus the topping A90 amplifier, which I currently own. As with all my audio reviews, I will utilize all my headphones in my collection or any headphones that I have in for review to search for synergies with the RNHP amp, as well as comparisons to my current solid state reference amp. I will cover five main topics, build quality, specifications, design, and quality of sound. Then I will give my overall conclusions and leave my affiliate links in the video description to the gear discussed. If you end up deciding you wanna make a purchase, it greatly helps the channel if you use one of my affiliate links. So let's get right into it. Starting with build quality, specs, and design, the RNHP is built in the USA by Rupert and his small team at Rupert Eves Design. Their team is comprised of dedicated engineers who build and design professional audio gear and systems. Neves and his team have over 80 years of experience in their respective field. Many of Rupert Neves' consoles were used by some of the top music artists in the world, such as ACDC, The Rolling Stones, Adele, just to name a few. The RNHP is based on the headphone output circuit of the 5060 centerpiece desktop mixer. The RNHP is a versatile headphone amplifier that can be used for mixing, tracking, or for listening and enjoying music. The RNHP is a dedicated 24 volt reference quality headphone amplifier with a plus four decibel left and right quarter inch XLR combo jacks for balanced signals on the rear, left and right unbalanced RCA, and a 3.5 millimeter input on the rear as well of the amplifier. On the front of the RNHP, you have a quarter inch headphone output, three input selection buttons, A, B, and C, that light up bright green when you select one of them. The volume control has a nice metallic red finish that is marked clearly and has a great feel during rotation. The visual design is not flashy, instead durable and purposeful. The RNHP is housed in a rugged VESA mountable steel chassis, enabling it to be used on location for professional audio work. The face of the unit has a lighter gray front plate that again allows you to easily see everything when operating in a darker environment. This may not seem like a big deal to most people, but professionals who work in the audio industry on location in darker environments will definitely appreciate these small details. The RNHP has a frequency response from 10 Hertz to 120 kilohertz, and the measured noise via the XLR or input A is negative 101.9 decibel, and from input B, the RCA, the measured noise is negative 100.9 decibel. Lastly, from input C, the 3.5 millimeter input, the measured noise is negative 88.8 decibel. Based on my personal listening, I preferred utilizing the balanced XLR input versus the other two options. The amp is a really good size for small desktop use or on-the-go professional use, coming in at only six and a half inches wide, 4.6 inches deep, and just under two inches tall. Included with a small power adapter are attachments for multiple countries, which is great if you decide to take the amplifier on your travels. I had no issue driving the Rad Zero, Verte Open, Eolus, or my 6XX with the RNHP. I will link to the rest of the power ratings and specs in the video description so you can go deeper into the numbers as well as check out a few of my affiliate links. If this is your first time visiting the channel, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate all the new subscribers and the thumbs up and comments you guys have been leaving on each new video. You guys all rock, appreciate you. So now that we talked about the design and build, let's get into the most important part in my opinion. How does it sound? As we all know, sound and the perception of sound is a very subjective thing. So anytime I give my impressions on how a piece of audio equipment sounds, it's my subjective opinion. You may have a different opinion. 
or a different audio chain than I do, which can play a big factor into formulating your conclusions about different audio gear. With that said, I found the RNHP when listening via the Rad Zero from Rossin Audio, the Verite Open from ZMF, and the Eolus from ZMF to my ears to have more intimate staging with good accuracy. It is a fairly neutral sounding amp with a touch of warmth and good impact. I found the RNHP to sound smooth with virtually a fatigue free listening experience. This is a solid state amp that is a pleasure to listen to versus many other solid state amps that can give me listening fatigue. My impressions were drawn when listening to my Kobas and Amazon Music HD playlists, which I've included in the video description below, as well as listening to many other tracks and albums of music over the few weeks I had the amp in for review. So to wrap up, let's talk about comparisons to my reference amp, the Topping A90, then stick around and I'll give you my overall conclusions and who I believe the RNHP headphone amplifier is for. When AB listening to the RNHP versus the Topping A90, I found the RNHP to have a slightly warmer, more laid back sound to my ears. The A90 has a faster, more holographic presentation with wider staging though. I found the RNHP to have slightly more impact compared to the A90 when listening to tracks with drums or bass hits. The A90 to my ears has better imaging and a blacker sounding background compared to the RNHP. However, the RNHP can sound less sharp at times for certain recordings, which might be preferred for longer listening sessions. Overall, I would say the A90 is the more technical sounding of the two amps, and the RNHP is the more natural sounding. Both great amps with different takes on how to present sound. So my overall conclusion, who is the RNHP headphone amplifier for? In my opinion, this amp is for someone wanting a headphone amplifier that can be used for both professional mixing, monitoring, and enjoyment listening in a durable portable form factor. The RNHP can be mounted with any VESA 100 compatible mount, which will be much appreciated by musicians who want a professional, portable, durable headphone amplifier that allows them to monitor the sound they are creating via their instruments. I also think the amp is a good choice for someone who wants to just enjoy their music, while also having the opportunity to own an audio product designed by the legendary Rupert Neves. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for many more upcoming videos and show your support by leaving me a thumbs up and a comment. If you're interested in purchasing the RNHP or any other amps discussed in the video, I will leave my affiliate links in the video description below that help to support the channel so I can keep bringing you more content. Thanks again, friends. I appreciate you all. Until next time, much love.